Hey guys, welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead. Today we're going to talk about five things that you can store in ammo cans. Let's get started. Okay, the first one is pretty obvious. Ammo. This just so happens to be my range box, so I've got various different types of ammo in here. Uh, I have hearing protection, eye protection, some tools, batteries for some of my optics, and a few other things. But the general idea is the first thing you can use, or the first thing you can store inside of an ammo can is ammo. Thing number two, gun cleaning kits. So I have... Obviously, a lot of your more basic standalone kits in the nice little wood case and things like that. But a lot of my loose items that are related to uh, cleaning and maintaining firearms, I will store in ammo cans. Things like boar snakes and different uh, lubricants and oils and uh, gun blue and uh, extra cleaning patches and... Uh, pistol ramrods and and things like that uh, so that they're all organized and kept nice and neatly in one place thing number three that you can store in an ammo can we already talked about freedom seeds now we're talking about growing seeds <clears throat> so uh, storing seeds like these it's best to keep them in a dry stable dark environment just like anything else food related keep it away from moisture keep it away from the sunlight keep it away from oxygen all of these things extend the shelf life of garden seeds which is what makes an ammo can the one of the most perfect places to keep your seeds thing number four fire kits a lot of your components that go into a fire kit whether it be tinder kindling uh, things of that nature those things need to stay dry and if you are out in austere conditions uh, maybe you're bugging out maybe you're whatever a good place to have your fire starting devices that can't get wet is in an ammo can. Last, but certainly not least, thing number five. A Faraday cage. So, let's open her up here. I have a Faraday cage made out of this ammo box. I actually have a couple of them. But I can keep various things in there. Ham radios, walkie-talkies, flashlights, night vision capability, smaller electronics. You will see, though, this does require some modification to the ammo can itself. First thing you'll notice here is I took a Dremel and I ground off all the paint from around this ring where that rubber gasket was. I took the gasket out, cleaned off all the paint, and put this replacement gasket in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, these, you may be wondering what they are. They are a specialized metallic gasket that is designed specifically for this application to turn an ammo box into an EMP proof Faraday cage. I will put a link for it down in the description. Long story short, what you need to know is this. You need to grind the paint off there on that surface up here and then down here. You can see that that's, well, if it will focus, yeah, you can see that the paint is ground off of there as well. What makes this 
a better option than various other things is the fact that it will be with this gasket completely sealed up there is no ring around here to let any sort of uh, rays particles whatever makes the EMP or CME affect the electronics that stuff can't get in because it makes a completely tight electrical conductive connection metallic anyhow hopefully you guys got something out of this this was five uses for ammo cans albeit that it's not the only five things you can use an ammo can for you can use an ammo can for a ton of things these were just five of my the ones that i deemed the best five of the best ones anyhow you guys got anything out of this do me a favor like share subscribe and i'll talk to you later